Surprise, surprise, motherfucker! The king is back! Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up. A lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick. 10,000 times, Bruce Lee and Mitch. Just so wise. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the King! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Herb Dean, third man Ready. in the octagon for this one. Ready. Good. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, yes, it is a lost art in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. A beautiful double jab. That thing's throwing right from the chin, too. Trying to establish the jab early on here. There's the jab. How's another one taste? Doubling up on the jab there. Nice work by Lee. Fast pace here in the early going. Oh, the wheel kick connects. Impressive. Straight punch there again. Been there all night. Blocks the shot there. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. Relax, relax. Keep your head. Straight right hand now just misses. Straight job fighting behind the limb. Kick blocked by Lee. Forward, forward, forward. Nice kick. Nice counter punch there as he continues. 
continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beating his leg up. Beautiful. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was at home. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his head. Huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Circling away towards the left. Oh! He's hurt bad. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, look at that. Jab lands there. Got the single collar tie. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Well, a headhunter he is not. Beautifully done as he attacks the body yet again. I mean, John, to have a guy live in a game plan and use it so effectively is very surprising. But with this guy, he's so smart. He's so disciplined. You kind of expect things out of the norm. Tonight, we see a body attack that we haven't seen in the octagon before. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Punch over the top. Oh, Rogan, you love that wheel kick. Landed there. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from land. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble now. Oh, and there's the hook. Oh. Plenty of action to digest from that one. All right, take a seat, brother. Three, four, relax. Let's slow that heart rate down. Let's refocus. Okay, you're not winning the stand-up war anymore. I need you to get this right. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it by getting hit over and over in the face. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Able to block that one. Oh, he lands another debilitating strike to the body, and he continues to punish his opponent's midsection. Had a lot of success with it in the previous round, and picking up exactly where he left off. That one was clean. Great punch. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Oh, he's hurt bad.
All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan. And it's oh, huge Superman punch. Yeah, that punch was blocked. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches and punches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, that left hand is on point. Barely missed on an uppercut right here on the inside. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get the Makes your perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Back to the hook now. Oh, huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. But now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Please kick to the body is blocked. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this game. Oh, and the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth. But the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? You ready to fight? You ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Inside leg kick. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side pose. The beauty of all he's got to get out of here. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's going to have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best. Oh, So an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that Big reaction as he absorbs yet another body shot, and you see the referee maybe start to close the distance a little bit. This could be a TKO in short order. I mean, John, he hurt him. Big right hand. Blocks that hard punch. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. Nice punch there by Lee. Under three minutes to go in our third round. range with that one. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Just out of the range with that right hand. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Just over two minutes to go. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Nice right punch followed by a left. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple. Of a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Double jab is there. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back going. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, big right hook, but a whip. All right, well, he's had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately, it'll turn to something much worse. a good series of kicks here. Straight punch is true. That punch didn't get through. Great defensive skills. Nice jab there. Final seconds of round three. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, how's that for a five-minute performance? The round is over mercifully for his opponent. You just got to make sure you stay the course, though, at this point, I would think, right? Because you nearly got the finish, but you didn't. 
and the opponent figures to make some adjustments. Absolutely, here. and he's from a great team, John. You know that the opponent's from a great team, so they're going to tell him all the right things in between rounds. So he's got to stay the course, as you said. Be calm, be patient. Do exactly what you did prior that put you in such a phenomenal situation going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. There's that side kick. Both guys. Oh, nice kick to the body there. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Nice defense there, huge block. Sneaky body kick lands under the elbow. Another big body kick land. Push kick there to the body. Right, a little welt there starting to develop on the side of his body. A lot of strikes landing in that area tonight. I mean, he's got to do something. You cannot continue to ignore that you're getting hit in the body over and over again. You better address it now before we get to a point where you can't continue to fight. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Nice body shot there. And now Leather being thrown on both sides. Still plenty of... Oh, a few strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Beautiful job getting the foot to the head there. Oh, huge overhand there. Nice leg kick. Yeah, he's got two. He's got to start checking kicks. Nice crack there. Two minutes remain in the round. Effective with the jab. Tremendous toughness as he eats yet another body shot. This feels pretty critical at this point in time. I wonder if the corners think about getting involved. Somebody needs to. Somebody needs to get in there and stop. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, high, grab, or wrestle. He's, a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Come on, let him go. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice hook. Under a minute to go in round four. Trouble. Big right hand. Oh! He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks. He's throwing punches. Establishing the jab. He is 
stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Big punch lands through the middle. are indicating the end of round four. All right, man, take a seat. Man. That was awesome. You really hurt him. Okay, he's in trouble. There's no way he's gonna recover. I need you to get out there, and I want to kill him. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's gonna find himself in trouble. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. Fifth and final round. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we weren't gonna get to this next round. Here we are, we will see the extent to which he is recovered. Let's see how he recovers over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him, clinch a lot in the first minute of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back into the fight. Work that cut, work that cut. Big shot to the head. Able to land there with the straight left. Doing a really nice job switching up the speed and the tempo of these kicks. Oh, the switch kick now. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Oh, and a high kick lands. Oh, nice jab. Keep your hands up for me. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. Get in and attack that leg hard with that kick now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Watch knees to the body. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Lee. Oh, he lands another punch there. He's got the reach advantage. Might as well use it, champ. He's got that single collar time locked in. He's got to either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Leg kick. Lee's kick, that one blocked. Push kick there to the body. Let's go, keep pushing forward. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Heavy kick downstairs. Two minutes now to go in this one. Oh, oh, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble chip. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Goes to the switch kick and lands. You got that weapon in your arsenal. Well. It is a great strike, and I've done it a number of times. I actually threw it in both fights against Steve Bemilch. Keep those hands up. That left hand Leg kick lands nicely done. Nice control in that collar time. And a massive elbow lands around the guard. Body shot. Oh, 
caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. What a great fight. Damage doled out on both sides. Perhaps some bonus money coming the way of these two individuals at 19. 50K, baby. Somebody's getting paid. These two guys are doing a great job in a fight that is so competitive, that is so evenly matched. These two really will be proud of the effort that they have shown inside the octagon today. Lands a solid kick right there. Hands on your face. 30 seconds to go now. Oh, nice. Nice. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Final seconds of the fight. Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. The official decision is in. Bruce Buffer has it. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's going to get everyone's best shot, but more often than not,